Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So this is Fazbear and Friends. So I do like fa uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, and for people who don't think I do, right with my keys. What do we know? What do you know? We got Foxy. I've had this for almost six years now. So a lot of people tend to think, oh, you're just reviewing, you know, reviewing stuff or watching stuff you don't like. No, I do like Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, <coughs> I had them on my other, all the, all the games. I played fully through um, FNAF World, but the other games, even though they were pretty simplistic, for some reason, I would play it and they'd either lag or there'd be huge tearing in the screen. So I just, I, I really didn't bother playing them. I played FNAF 6. I tried to play um, Sister Location, but it's just, <laughs> well, I could barely even play the first one without it lagging on me, so I just, I didn't, but I do like f um, f uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, I, I want to just call it FNAF, but, but um, yeah, Scott Cawthon has taken something as simple as, you know, a game where you're in one room. And he's made it into, what, nine video games so far, a plethora of books. Um, so, he's oh, there's a movie coming out eventually. I don't know if it's still... Um, normally, I rely on Docco for that kind of information, but he hasn't had anything about the FNAF movie or anything like that. So, I don't know if it's still in production. Because Scott had to rewrite the script like four or five times because he wasn't happy with it. So... It's going to be like the Angry Birds movie. It's going to come out like five years, ten or five, six years after the phenomena has died. Um, and then when it comes out, it's going to be like, okay, Five Nights at Freddy's. Wasn't that like something that was almost ten years ago? It was popular. Jesus Christ. It really has been almost. It was, what, 2014? Right? 2014, 2015 was the first game? Fuck. Wow, game's been around a while, hasn't it? Hmm. Well, time certainly flies, doesn't it? So yeah, I do like Five Nights at Freddy's, and I'm more interested in the story aspect. Um, so, anyways, we can talk more about that afterwards, but Fazbear and Friends. Got Freddy right here, looking very, looking very chipper. <laughs> Hope y'all are hungry, cause dinner is served. Oh great, pizza again. Bon, why are y'all trying to beautify yourself? <clears throat> I got to worry about my presentation. Well, that's goofy. No, no. <laughs> Famous celebrity. <laughs> now what in the hay are you on about? Look, we're on TV. We're on TV. <laughs> Oh, you silly rabbit. We're Tricks not on kids. television. That's a security camera. But that does mean someone's watching us, right? Well, I suppose it does, Chica. But do you think they might want to be friends, Freddy? <laughs> well, shoot. Fazbear and his crew are always up for making new friends. <laughs> new friends? Ugh, pass. <laughs> Let's see if we can't find this mysterious security cam Sam and give him a welcome as warm <laughs> as a big old furry bear hug. Ugh, wake me when it's over. I think there's some fashion of hairless ape in there, Freddy. Mm. No, that there's called a man, old top. Do you think he likes <coughs> pizza? Vaughn, why don't you try to get his attention? <laughs> what they see, what he sees. Look out, close door, well, close door, close door, close door. He doesn't look like he wants to be friends at all. Well, sir, I won't accept that for an answer. I think he locked us out. <laughs> oh, well, we tried. <laughs> never say never, Foxy. Here's Freddy. Excuse me, sir. Would y'all like some company in there? Ask him if he likes pizza. <laughs> Dang, he ran off. 
I guess he's fixing to be old by his lonesome. Well, I'm fixing to add to my companion compendium. Foxy, Chica, you search the east hallway in the kitchen. Bon, you and me <coughs> are the dining area and the maintenance room. We'll find this man, and as the Lord is my witness, before this night is over, I will make a friend. Dang, this place is spooky at night. I sure could go for a slice of p -p -p pizza right about now. Me too, Chica. <laughs> me too. Really? I was feeling kind of hungry for something else. Wait, I can't. You know my heart belongs to Freddy. Oh, please. That egotistical furball will never notice you the way I do. Now remember what they but see Foxy, and what we the man see. Finds us? Oh, come on, babe. He's probably halfway to Albuquerque by now. Now, how's about you let old Foxy take a peek at those McNuggets? <laughs> well, ahoy, baby. <clears throat> Foxy, look out! Foxy, oh, are Foxy. you okay? My only regret is not getting to second base. <laughs> Mr. Man, I don't know why y'all... Not only are they pizzas, but they bounce. No matter what happens, I understand they're covering them up, to but the best of folk. Well, I bet underneath that sour marmalade expression, you're just scared and confused. But y'all don't have anything to be afraid of. I'm gonna hug you until y'all understand that what I want is for us to be friends. <laughs> Bonnie! Bonnie! Oh, where did that dang rabbit get to? <sighs> Simmer down, Fazbear. You never failed to make a friend before, and you sure as tarnation ain't gonna start tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems a tad queer. <laughs> well, that seems a tad queer. <laughs> Oh, Bond, what have they done to you, old top? Speak to me. Sorry for falling apart on you, Freddy. <laughs> hey, I guess you could say I'm going to rest in pieces. <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, dear oh, God. God. I swear to you, I'll find whoever did this, and I will make that person my friend. He finds his friend dismembered, and he's like, oh, I'm going to make that person my friend. That is cool, though. Preparing your backside for friendship, you shadowy, shovel-wielding, shameless, sick, sinister son of a Siamese salamander. All of which has no purpose. through this one more time just so I can make sure I'm understanding you. You're saying I am not a bipedal brown bear blessed with human cognitive thought and speech, but rather <laughs> an animatronic puppet built by a pizzeria chain and given unholy life by the restless spirit of a child murdered in the 80s? Yeah, that's basically the long and short of it. I gotta tell you, I find that a little hard to believe. Check it out, dude. <laughs> oh, dang, I'm a fright. I look like old Scratch himself clawed out of the depths of Hades. I'm powerful sorry if I scared y'all. No problem. I'm sorry I took all of your friends apart. Don't worry, I can put them back together. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now that you know the truth? Well, the way I figure, the only thing I've ever wanted to do in this world is entertain children. And if you ask me, finding out that I'm a robot built for the specific purpose of entertaining children doesn't change a thing. If anything, it gives me more assurance than most people ever get that what I'm doing is worthwhile. And I have you to thank for that, Mike. Oh, I almost forgot, we gotta get you fitted up. Fitted up? I love how there's that it's many. It's Fazbear's pizza policy that all endoskeletons remain in costume at all time, <laughs> as to not scare the kids. You're new here, so I know you didn't know, but we're gonna have to get you in one ASAP. 
Freddy, you know I'm not an endoskeleton, right? Oh, you can't lie to me. I know an endoskeleton when I see one. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry, Mike. It's just policy. And well, we all know what happens to poor Mike. Anything after? <laughs> WTF did I just watch? <laughs> Hang up. <laughs> okay, so people are probably gonna wonder. It's like, okay, what the hell? He just said um, about the whole, you know, you can't fool me. I know an endoskeleton when I see one, because in the beginning he says, oh, that's that's not a hairless ape. That's a that's a human. So it's like, how does he go from knowing what a human is to thinking Mike is a endoskeleton? Well, you can have Mike to thank for that. After letting Freddy know that he is in fact a robot, everything kind of fixed itself. So instead of thinking he's a bipedal brown bear with cognitive thought, uh, he realizes that he is a actual animatronic uh, possessed by the spirit of a child murdered in the 80s. And well, that's when they switch into animatronic mode and uh, yeah. So that's the reason why it's suddenly switch to where he thinks he knows what a human is and knows what uh, security camera is and all that and then suddenly at the end he's like oh yeah you know I know an endoskeleton when I see one after he just called him a human in the beginning of the, uh, the video so yeah he after being reminded that he is an animatronic that's when animatronic mode switched on basically and it's like well you're an endoskeleton and while you're in Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria you gotta have you in a suit at all times and so he stuffed him in a suit now I don't like these like the way they make them they look like they like uh, like you put it on you like screw it on um, so I didn't like the, that was like the only com like complaint I have about that though the design of it is it looks like it screws on rather than you know like a costume but um <laughs> well, that seems a tad queer I'm sorry yeah and that just a fucking pizza's covering that's just... and I like how because she has feathers it looks like she's got like she, they have like six fingers rather than uh five and but poor Foxy and then you like see what it actually is but yeah like I said there's a difference between what he sees and what we see to them they're exactly how they're portrayed the entire time. They're like these colorful little, you know, cognitive animals, and they're able to talk to each other and t do things with each other. But what we see, as with Bonnie tapping on the glass and showing right here, he sees them as these horrifying fucking animatronics that need to be smacked. Um, so, I mean, well, they, they showed him kissing, so what would that look like? Are they just like smacking their faces together? Because they're animatronics. So what are they face smacking their faces together? Just like ah. Uh... I mean that's not pretty much what I imagine. They're either smacking their faces together or just like ah 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 ah. Um. Poor Foxy. I'm sorry, Foxy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love Foxy. Um. But yeah, like I said in the beginning, FNAF was always one of those things that I want. It's like, I tried playing them and I always knew it was never going to be something I would do a play of because I just, I don't have the patience to sit there for, you know, however long it takes to get through seven nights. Um, I watched Docco when he, <laughs> I remember back when with Ultimate, uh, Ultimate Custom Night, oh my god. I watched, I think it was a week it took him, but I remember when Docco finally beat Ultimate Custom Night, like, perfect, perfect score, and he fucking starts crying and everything, and it was the same thing every day, I went to work, I worked till maybe 2, 3 o'clock, I came home, he was streaming at the time, 
And there were some days he would stream, and he was streaming for like uh, two, three hours, and some day, and that stream, it was like, as soon as he started the stream, he started it, he went through all night, and then he managed to get it. It's like ten minutes in, and he managed to get it. But, um, yeah. Scott's really cool, though. Uh, people have gotten to take pictures with him, people have, um, I think there's a little kid on YouTube, uh, here on YouTube who has a picture of him, and, um, Basically, I think it was one of Scott's son's birthdays or something like that, and they closed down an entire uh, water park because Scott rented it out. Um, and he got to hang out. I think they were neighbors or friends or something. I think he was friends with his son, but he got to take a picture. And Scott's just a really cool guy. Um, but yeah, I do like FNAF. It's just one of those things. There's really not a whole lot of FNAF that I want to react to, um, apart from like the Living Tombstone songs and stuff like that. So if you th think of any Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, let me know. Um, cause like I said, I really don't think have an idea of what kind of FNAF stuff would be there that I would want to react to. But based on what you see on my channel, you can kind of determine, oh hey, he can react to this. but. If you know any FNAF stuff, let me know. He's got the uh, the soy boy face going on. He's like, or is it? Uh, no, I think it's more of the smile. So it's like, like as wide as they can get. They're like, it's like, oh my god, Starbucks, a Nintendo Switch, a puppy. <laughs> so, anyways, yep, yeah, this was Fazbear and Friends. Yeah, so that's it for me. I'm sorry, I can't think of it right now. A thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.